root 3 raised to the power of x, root 9 raised to the power of x, root 8, 1 raised to the power of x equals 81. Find x. Hi there, this is Daily Mathematics, and today we have this very interesting question here to solve. How do we find x? Please, as we go into the question, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. So the first step we want to do, solution. We have two solutions. We have two steps in solving this question, and we're going to do the first step now, while the second step will be done when we want to check the answer so 3 root uh, 3 raised to the power of x root 9 raised to the power of x right root 81 raised to the power of x equals 81 now the first step we're going to use in solving this question is by uh, squaring both sides until we get rid of all the square roots that we have here by squaring both sides so here square cancel square root here and we have 3 raised to the power of x times root 9 raised to the power of x root 81 raised to the power of x equals 81 squared right so what are we going to do continue squaring both sides continue squaring both sides so from here we have 3 raised to the power of x squared right 3 raised to the power of x squared times root 9 raised to the power of x root 81 raised to the power of x squared equals 81 raised to the power of 4 right now what does this give us this is this remember when we have a raised to the power of m right raised to the power of n it will give us a raised to the power of m n why we are going to multiply the powers together so we are going to multiply these powers to give us theory raised to the power of 2x times here square we cancel the square root we have 9 raised to the power of x times root 81 raised to the power of x equals 81 raised to the power of 4 right so what are we doing here so let's do this continue square both sides right remember square both sides so from here we have 3 raised to the power of 2x squared don't forget that 3 raised to the power of 2x squared multiplied by 9 raised to the power of x squared right multiplied by root 81 raised to the power of x squared remember it's everything in the bracket that is taking the squared equals 81 4 times 2 multiply the powers remember 4 times 2 8 that's 81 raised to the power of 8 right so what's the next thing let's do this one so we have 3 raised to the power of 2x times 2 multiply the powers which is 4x times 9 raised to the power of x times 2 which is 2x times square cancel square root here we have 81 raised to the power of x equals 81 raised to the power of 8 right so if you can look carefully here we have 3 raised to the power of 4x here multiplied by 9 here is 3 raised to the power of 2 right raised to the power of 2x and 81 is also 3 raised to the power of 4 uh, raised to the power of x right equals 81 raised to the power of 8 right and so let's continue we have 3 raised to the power of 4x multiplied like let's multiply the powers we have 3 raised to the power of 4x still here we multiply the powers we have 3 raised to the power of 4x still equals 81 raised to the power of 8 now you can remember the law of exponential we have a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n it will give us a raised to the power of m plus n right so since we have all this one here we don't just have only two numbers we have three numbers but they are the same thing it will give us three right which is about 4x plus 4x plus 4x equals 81 which is the power of 8 right and so 4x plus 4x plus 4x gives us 12x we have 3 which is the power of 12x equals now 81 is 3 which is the power of 4 remember which is the power of 8 Right, and so we have 3 raised to the power of 12x, right, equals 3, multiply the powers in the, according to the law of exponents, according to this law here, multiply the powers. So 4 times 8 gives us 32, we have 3 raised to the power of 32. Now bringing in an, another law, when we have a raised to the power of m equals a raised to the power of n, what happens? We will have a uh, we have m equals n that's because of the basis are the same that means the power will equate themselves when the basis are the same and we have an equal to in the middle the powers will equate themselves so from here 12x equals 32 
right so we get the value of x by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x which is 12 x equals from here 4 here 3 4 here 8 x equals 8 over 3 right x equals 8 over 3 now how when x is equals 8 over 3 how do we verify our answer is correct that's when we use the second method for this now you can see the first uh, the first method that we use here by square rooting both sides to get your answer and so on and so forth but i just want to show you we have two methods of solving now using this original question root 3 raised to the power of x and so on and so forth let's rewrite it here so we have root 3 raised to the power of x root 9 raised to the power of x right root 81 raised to the power of x right we have this equals 81 now applying this value of x here 8 over 3 we want to take if this value if we do everything solve everything if it will give us 81 so let's go so we'll leave this one for a while so and remember that when we have root a what does root a give us root a is equal to a raised to the power of 1 over 2 right the square root changes to power of 1 over 2 right so from here we have 3 raised to the power of x this is a square root here a square root covering it so we have 3 raised to the power of x multiplied by 1 over 2 right times we have here 9 raised to the power of x multiplied by you can see a square root here for 9 and you can see another square root covering it so it will be multiplied by 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 right and you can see the same thing for 81 times you have times 81 raised to the power of x right multiplied by we can see three square roots one two three that will be multiplied by one over two times one over two times one over two right so having this done let's solve so from here we have three raised to the power from here we'll multiply the powers remember according to this law here according to this law of multiplying the powers so let's multiply our powers here so when we multiply the powers x times one we have x over two and from here when we multiply the powers we have x times one times one that's nine raised to the power of x over two times two we have four times when we multiply the powers here we have 81 raised to the power of x times one times one times one we have x over two times two times two we have eight right so do having solving this one does it give us 81 that's what we're trying to prove so from here what do we have do we have three raised to the power of x over 2 right multiplied by uh, 9 is 3 3 raised to the power of uh, x 3 raised to the power of 2 sorry 9 is 3 raised to the power of 2 times x over 4 right times 81 which is 81 which is 3 over 3 raised to the power of 4 times x over 8 right so from here we have 3 raised to the power of x over 2 times yes we have 3 raised to the power of 2x over 4 2x over 4 times this one we have 3 raised to the power of 4x over 8 right so from here we can see 2 cancel 2 year 1 2 year 2 so from here we have 3 raised to the power of x over 2 times here we have 3 raised to the power of x over 2 still times here we have 4 year 1 4 year 2 so 3 times 3 raised to the power of x over 2 does this give us 81 using this value of x so we're going to apply the value of x here very soon so since we have 3 raised to the power of x over 2 3 raised to the power of x over 2 here we have 3 raised to the power of x over 2 was x over 2 now x is 8 over 3 now let's check what's x over 2 x is x is 8 over 3 that's 8 over 3 over 2 now let's do it quickly 8 over 3 divided by 2 that's what this over means now that's 8 over 3 times 1 over 2 we have this so our answer is 4 over 3 that means a that means this is x uh, 4 over 3 so we have so we have 3 
raised to the power of 4 over 3 times 3 raised to the power of 4 over 3 times 3 raised to the power of 4 over 3. Does it give us 81? Right? So from here, what do we do? We have, remember this law, remember this law where we have a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n to give us a raised to the power of m plus n, right? So from here, so from here, what do we do? We have 3 raised to the power of 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3. Does it give us 81? So from here, we have 3 raised to the power of, so since we have the denominators the same, we can just add everything, 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12. So we have 3 raised to the power of 12 over 3, which is 3 raised to the power of 4. And you know what 3 raised to the power of 4 means? 3 raised to the power of 4 means... 3 raised to the power of 4 equals 81. So you can see that our answer for x here is correct. Therefore, x equals 8 over 3. So let's write it up here, right? Therefore, x, x equals 8 over 3. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave your genuine thoughts about this video. Thank you very much.